Hey y'all, it's me Lauren, AKA Low So Natural. Welcome and welcome back to my channel. If you wanna hear some fire layering combos, I have a lot for y'all today. So get a snack, come right back. I got some fire hits for you. Just keep watching, stick it through. We going smell good, all 24. Keep watching, there's a lot in store. Today's scripture of the day is actually the Bible apps scripture of the day. They will not always be the same, but this scripture was fitting, okay? Jeremiah 29 and 13 says, you will seek me and find me when you seek me with all your heart. That's it. That's the word. Again, that was Jeremiah chapter 29 verse 13. If you are in need of something from God, which I think all of us are, whether you know it or not, if you are looking for God, if you are waiting for him, maybe, just maybe, you're just praying and asking. You might not be seeking. There's a difference, okay? Now, praying can be a part of your seek journey, but sometimes seeking is opening your Bible. Sometimes seeking is praying. Sometimes seeking is changing those sin patterns. Okay, that's all I have to say. If you wanna read more, go check out Jeremiah. Just go read your Bible, okay? <laughs> and I'ma read mine. All right, now on to what y'all came here for, the layering combos. I have a number of them. I don't even know how many there are. Some of the layering combos I'm bringing to you all, I will tell y'all the body care, like the base I use. Some of them I will not. I don't know how long this is gonna take. Y'all know me. I like to keep it moving. So let's get into it. And if you have any questions, comments, concerns, feel free to drop it down below. And if you are not a current subscriber, hit that subscribe button. I promise you won't like something that you hear today. I'm gonna start off with this combo. I've been wanting to use up my Butter Baby Yams Body Butter. Butter Baby is a black owned business from the DMV area. This smells like holiday yams. And y'all, Thanksgiving has come and gone two times since I've had this, so that's why I'm trying to use it up. I've only had the butter for a year, but it's time for me to finish this up, and it was only four ounces, so I mean, it's time. I love it, I love it, but I need to use it. So I layered it with my Bath & Body Works Pumpkin Cupcake Fragrance Mist. This has the fragrance notes of whipped buttercream, pumpkin spice, and vanilla cake batter. You know pumpkins goes with yams because either you like, you know, like a sweet potato pie or you like pumpkin pie. Either way, they're just distant cousins. And yams is the distant cousin to sweet potato. So y'all feel me? Y'all got the vibes? Yeah. This was the scent of the night. So I didn't use a perfume, but I did use another fragrance mist. And I decided, all right, if I want to elevate it some more, let me use Midnight Amber Glow. This has the fragrance notes of smooth amber, caramel latte, and vanilla bourbon. You know, sometimes you get your pumpkin spice muffin in the morning and you have it with some coffee. Shoot, you might have a pumpkin spice latte. And this has the caramel latte, the vanilla bourbon, the smooth amber, all of which goes with some yams, so. Y'all see the vibes? Okay, I hope y'all do. Also, I once had somebody request that I put my layering combos in my description. I'm sorry, but that ain't happening. That ain't happening. But feel free to, you know, take a screenshot or a picture of any layering combo you see, all right? Cause I ain't putting it in the description, I'm sorry. I do a lot for you but I can't go for that, no, mm, 
no can do. All right, another layering combo. Lord, this is one of these creative complex situations. I'm trying to think. I used a body butter with this as well. Okay. Y'all, I got some of my layering combos on the floor because they would not all fit up here. I told y'all I have a lot, okay? So this layering combo, I started off with a mixture, a concoction of two products. My Essential Roots Body Butter in the scent. Citrus Berry. Smells amazing. 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 Like, the best citrus you've ever smelled plus the best berries you've ever smelled, okay? And I mixed it with Life of the Party. Life of the Party body cream because y'all know me, I love my body butters. And if I'm gonna use a Bath and Body Works lotion or body cream, I'm gonna mix it. I need the moisture. Life of the Party has the fragrance notes of pink citrus, bubbly prosecco, jasmine, and shimmering vanilla. All right. So of course, I went in with my Life of the Party matching fragrance mist because why not, right? And I also use my Love Cotton Candy Champagne fragrance mist, which has the fragrance notes of Bubbly Rose, Sweet Strawberry, and Pink Sugar. I use this plus this because they both have a sparkling champagne note. This has Prosecco. This has Bubbly Rose. And you got the strawberries in this. You have the pink citrus in this, right? So you have what? Citrus berry, right? Okay, y'all see? Y'all see where I'm going? I added a perfume oil. One that just fit the vibe. <laughs> when it comes to overlapping notes, I don't know off the top of my head, but Valentino, Donna, Born in Roma. I'm pretty sure this probably has a jasmine note because a lot of the big perfumes, the most popular ones do. So if it does have jasmine, then it ties in with the life of the party. But this Donna, Born in Roma perfume oil is from the oil lady. It smells amazing. And then the perfume I use, which I can't remember if I started with the perfume or ended with the perfume. Either way, <sighs> I used my Jaffa perfume, which is by Oza Reach. This is a Middle Eastern Arabian perfume. This is a perfume I always say they put in the witness protection program because you can't find it. I can't tell y'all where to get it. You can't even get it where I got it. But this has a, I always forget the fragrance notes. Is it apricot? And like marmalade, like a jam note, it has a cotton candy. Allegedly it has a cupcake note. So there's some fruits. I think there's actually some florals in here as well. To me, it's a, hmm. It's kind of hard to describe because I wouldn't categorize it as a gourmand, but some people would. Does it smell good? Yes. I fall in love with this perfume more and more. To me, it's a more crowd pleasing, like baby sister to Fakar, which is said to be a dupe of Givenchy's Linter D. To me, it gives like that DNA without the same fragrance notes. It's weird. <sighs> I really like Jaffa though. Y'all see the dent. I love it. This was just giving fruity, fruity, sweet, playful. I want to use up products. That's really what this combo was giving. Okay. The next layering combo was fire, 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 fire. All right. So y'all. Okay. Okay. All right. I'm like, I use so many products. I'm like, which ones did I use? Lord Jesus. Sometimes, you know, it's been so long. This Lamar Combo video has been so overdue that I'm forgetting like what I wore with each other. So this combo, I started off with another mixture. Okay. 
We have Fresh Coconut Colada by Bath & Body Works. This has the fragrance notes of coconut milk, vanilla rum, and pink hibiscus. And then this is the Divinely Rooted Skincare Cocoa Chocolate Glaze Body Butter. Y'all know how I feel about this business, so not even gonna go into that. But I was going for chocolate and coconut. Then I use two perfume oils. Which one do I say first? I'm gonna do this one. Bond number nine, Tribeca. This is from the scent for you. To me, Tribeca has a chocolate coconut Baccarat scent. There is no coconut listed in this fragrance. There is hazelnut and cacao and some other notes that are similar to Baccarat. So that's kind of where I got chocolate and coconut. Then because I misused products that I have, I said, let me use another coconut perfume oil I have in my collection. I was leaning toward another one and then this one came to my mind. So I chose this one because I have not used it in months. This is my Tom Ford Soleil Blanc perfume oil, which I got from Wholesale Body Oils. This is a summery sunscreeny, yeah, warm coconut. I'm sure some people love it. I'm sure some people probably wouldn't like it, but I really enjoy Tribeca with Soleil Blanc. All right, and then, okay, so we have the chocolate and the coconut and the vanilla. So then I chose this fragrance mist, Frosted Coconut Snowball by Bath & Body Works. I don't have the fragrance notes because it is a mini, but y'all see, I've been using it up and I really, really enjoy Frosted Coconut Snowball. Me, I was not a coconut girly, but Frosted Coconut Snowball does it for me every single time and it actually is full size worthy. Full size worthy, okay? All right, moving right along, another fire layering combo. I started off with my Goddess of the Sea Cashmere Cream Body Butter. This smells amazing. I also have the matching cashmere cream body mist by Goddess of the Sea. If you didn't know, I am an affiliate with Goddess of the Sea. So if you shop, you can use my code Lauren, that is L-A-U-R-E-N, to get you 10% off. Goddess of the Sea is having a restock Friday at 12 p.m. So don't say I didn't tell you. The scent cashmere cream is on the restock list, but cashmere cream was reformulated and I have not smelled the new reformulated version. Well, at least I think it will be the new reformulated version on this restock, but I don't know, don't quote me on it. But I know I love the cashmere cream I have. The one I have has the fragrance notes of Violet, Jasmine, Lily, Gardenia, entangled with vanilla, sandalwood, cashmere wood, and patchouli. This is infused with patchouli and clary sage essential oil. To me, this cashmere cream scent is reminiscent of Bath & Body Works Magic in the Air. If you're familiar with this scent, you've smelled a scent very, very similar to this. This has the fragrance notes of almond flower, sparkling persimmon, white iris, whipped vanilla bourbon, and fluffy sandalwood. I always layer these together with so many scents and smell amazing. But the perfume I went with this time was Vanilla Potion. I absolutely love this. If you have Vanilla Potion, try it with Magic in the Air. If you happen to have cashmere cream, try it. Vanilla Potion goes with so much. This combo was giving, okay? Giving, it was giving sweet, fluffy, vanilla, pretty, not doing too much. Yeah. The next combo is for my boss women, the women that wanna stand out, the women that want to be bold and cozy at the same time. It was giving unisex, Fem unisex. It was giving fem uni, okay? All right. This layer combo, 
I use a number, a number, a number of products. So bear with me. To start off, I used two of my Ioni Wellness Body Butters. Ioni Wellness is a black owned business out of Baltimore. These body butters were formulated to be worn paired together. This one is a leather bound, which is a unisex scent. And this is Sexy Bee, which is a cozy, it has, I think, cashmere, was it grapefruit? Mmm, vanilla. Y'all, it had a number of things that I cannot remember off the top of my head, but just know it smells amazing. Leather Bound is pretty self-explanatory. It's a leather scent, but these together, it's just giving. I have been wanting to use this perfume oil, which is Beast Mode. This scent in general is Beast Mode. The perfume that is inspired by is Beast Mode. This is the Chronic. This perfume oil is from the Oil Lady as well. The Chronic is by Byron or Byron Parfums. I got a sample of that scent from my loyal subscriber, Crystal. I smelled that perfume sample and fell in love with it. This, these together, you could stop here because the Chronic is amazing. It has notes of like pepper and cinnamon and leather and some other good stuff. It's amazing. I don't even really like peppery scents. I really don't even like leathery scents, but baby together, a hit. Then I've been trying to use up my Eilish by Billie Eilish perfume oil, which I got from wholesalebodyoils.com. I've been trying to use it up. So I said, let me add it to this combo because why not? And I said, since I'm going in the vanilla vibe, let me add my mixed bar vanilla bourbon perfume because it's all gonna go. We smelling grown, sweet, cozy. And I didn't stop there because I'm gonna use some more products. So of course I added a fragrance mist. This is Bonfire Bash by Bath & Body Works, which has the fragrance notes of vanilla bourbon, creamy sandalwood, and cashmere musk. So vanilla bourbon, vanilla bourbon. Cashmere musk, there is I told you cashmere somewhere in here. We got sandalwood. I know there's some sandalwood somewhere up in here. So 20 out of 10, highly recommend Eilish, The Chronic, Vanilla Bourbon, Bonfire Bash, Leather Bound, and Sexy Bee. Don't say I never told you anything. Don't say I never put you on. I want you to smell good. We're gonna smell good all 2024 and beyond, and beyond. All right, y'all, so in the shower, I used this Divani Ruta Skincare Marshmallow Pumpkin Maple Body Polish. This is the company I ain't rocking with. Y'all, I just wanna show y'all why I ain't rocking with it. Wow, it smells amazing. It smells amazing. This is a body polish. And while I appreciate like moisture and I appreciate butter, when I want a body polish or a scrub, I want more sugar than butter, okay? And the fact that it's separated doesn't even bother me. It's just the proportion. Like if I wanted a body butter, I would have got a body butter. Okay, for some people, they will be fine with that. And I've had this a while, so don't judge. Don't judge everything like how the sugar is kind of like clumped together. Like, I don't know, y'all. I like it. I don't love it. The scent is amazing, but y'all. <laughs> if I'm not supporting a business, if I tell you I'm not supporting a business anymore, it's not just because my feelings were hurt. It's because I have receipts, okay? All right, but <laughs> that's not why y'all here, okay? Started off with the Marshmallow Pumpkin Maple Body Polish. Then when I got out the shower, I used my Ioni Wellness Snickerdoodle Body Butter. 
because it's amazing and it's almost gone. I love it, I love it, I love it. So we got marshmallow and pumpkin and maple. We got snickerdoodle. So when I got out, I said, let me add a perfume oil. And I chose my godly perfume oil from Key Essential Oils, another black owned business out of the DMV area. Godly is a strong sandalwood scent. It is unisex, so it's potent. It does what it needs to do. Then I went in with a perfume. This is a decant of Vanilla 28 by Kayali. If you know, you know. So we got sandalwood, we got vanilla, we got marshmallow, we got maple, we got pumpkin, we got snickerdoodle. So then I chose white pumpkin and chai by Bath and Body Works. This has the fragrance notes of cinnamon cider, spiced pumpkin and vanilla glaze. And I finished up with Murray Cookie by Bath and Body Works, which smells like a thick almond snickerdoodle cookie. Like it's just giving everything, okay? All right. Another creative combo where I just was using a lot of products and I smell good. I would never say I'm a gourmand girly, but if I'm doing gourmand, like I'ma do it up. I'ma have layers and layers and layers on gourmand because if I'ma do it, I'ma do it. Y'all, I just went and restocked my tray and then I still have two layering combos on the floor. That's how y'all know this video was long overdue. Now, I put my ring light on now. I'm sorry if the lighting wasn't the best in the beginning, but I hate the glare in my eyes. I hate y'all seeing it, but I said half of the video, y'all gonna get some light so y'all can actually see the products, okay? Okay. These combos were also super creative, super me, okay? All right. So the first one, started off with my key essential oils body butter in the scent vanilla passion y'all it's almost empty it's almost gone gone i love this it's said to have seven different vanillas in the scent as well as pear it smells amazing i chose this because i wanted to use this perfume oil which has a pear note or a pear blossom note something like that this is my holly berry perfume oil which i got from a local beauty supply store i love this scent it smells sweet it's super it's strong and sweet if you don't like sweet scents i don't think you will like this i know this fragrance also has a fig leaf note or something and i said okay we got pear we got fig leaf what can i do with that so i gotta backtrack a little bit i gotta backtrack a little bit okay forget what i just said it's like no don't forget it just keep it in your back pocket the body cream i used which i did actually mix with this totally forgot this is Gingham Heart of Gold. This has the fragrance notes of crisp golden apple, creamy vanilla bean, and warm sandalwood. Why did I choose this? Because the body care I used was Goddess of the Seas Exotic Pear, which has an apple note, it has a brandy note, and it has a pear note. So we got the pear and we got the apple, right? And so we got the pear, okay, to go with that, right? and the fig leaf right to go with my butter baby brown sugar and fig fragrance mist okay y'all see where i'm going and then because i told y'all this has pear or pear blossom whatever i went with emerald mist by bath and body works this has the fragrance notes of fresh rainfall sun-kissed pear and blonde woods this together was amazing Gingham Heart of Gold has the warm sandalwood. This has the blonde woods. You know, it was a vibe. And I told y'all the base was pear and apple. So it was giving. It was giving. 
So try brown sugar and fig, whether you have Butter Baby's version or Bath and Body Works version with something you got, okay? Be creative, use the products you have, have fun, smell good, do all those things. Next combo was my scent of the day yesterday. I forgot to tell y'all, these combos were in no particular order. All out of order, okay? So, the base I started off with was my Brazil Nut Body Butter by Trader Joe's, which is a dupe for Sol de Janeiro's Charosa 62, Bum Bum Cream, Boom Boom Cream. This is just, it's salted caramel and pistachio. It smells good. It's not a heavy hitting scent in my opinion. And that's what I needed. The rest of the layering combo doesn't really specifically tie in with this product, but I had to show y'all this is what I started off with. I then applied my, the scent for you, banana perfume oil because I was going for a banana layering combo. Okay, this smells like banana Laffy Taffy. Then I sprayed my Door Brand Banana Cream Pie Cocktail Extract Day Parfum. All right, this is under Door Brand's Vaulted Fragrances. It smells good. It's not my favorite banana perfume, but it does what I need it to do. This, I would consider my favorite banana perfume, though I've only smelled two in my lifetime. No, I've smelled three. I've smelled three. This is my favorite thus far. Bananas Brulee by Dawkins Aroma Company. I finished it yesterday, so it will be in my January empties. This has a fragrance nose of light whipped banana whipped cream it has some toffee in there so i said that would tie in with the salted caramel vanilla it's just it's such a creamy banana creme brulee scent smells amazing so we have banana perfume oil banana cream pie cocktail and we have bananas brulee and then the fragrance mix i chose was Bahamas Passion Fruit and Banana Flower, which has the fragrance notes of passion fruit, pineapple leaves, and banana flower. To me, this is a sweet, airy, creamy, tropical scent. And it goes with the banana. All right. I was smelling really good. No complaints. Yeah. Banana. B-A-N-A-N-A-S. Next was a slight layering combo I fell in love with. I started off using my Hot Lips perfume. This is by Metropolis. It is an Arabian Middle Eastern dupe of Bond Number no. Nine's Nolita. I have never smelled Nolita, so I cannot confirm or deny that it smells like it, but this perfume has grown on me. It's definitely a floral fruity scent. I can't say fruity floral because it is a floral floral scent with some fruit in it. Because this has a nectarine or some type of orangey, bright, fruity note, I chose my Love Spell Candy Fragrance Mist by Victoria's Secret. This has the fragrance notes of peach gumdrop, crystallized mugay. It says a nostalgic twist on love spell. These two together smell amazing. This has a creamy sweetness that this one is lacking a little bit. Together it smells amazing. And I decided to add a perfume oil. I chose one I really hadn't worn yet. And I chose Dylan Purple. I don't know if I chose this because this bottle is purple. I knew this was like a fruity, floral, smooth, fresh, type of vibe so that's kind of how I came up with it there was no real like rhyme or reason I don't think there was any perfect overlapping notes for any of them but it just smells good <laughs> and I loved it I could not get enough of this combo next up is probably my favorite layering combo out of them all because it just is composed of a number of my favorite fragrances. So I started off with my 
pink cotton body oil by Dawkins Aroma Company. Dawkins Aroma Company is a black owned business. They create perfumes, body oils, deodorants, yada, 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 yada. And I also use my citrus berry body butter, which y'all have already heard me talk about. I use pink cotton on the top half of my body and I use citrus berry on the bottom half because I'm trying to savor this and I'm trying to use this up. So pink cotton has the fragrance notes of caramel, lemon, musk, cotton blossom, and cotton candy. This has a citrus and a berry. As y'all know, cotton candy has berry in there. Lemon is a citrus. So citrus berry and pink cotton go together, right? So because I have the pink cotton body oil and I love the pink cotton perfume, of course, I use my pink cotton perfume by Dawkins Aroma Company, which is an extract day parfum. Y'all see, this was clear when I got it. That's how y'all know it's macerated, it's been sitting, and it's thumping. I also use my clean pink cotton perfume oil that was created by my girl, my favorite girl, y'all favorite girl, Stephanie Chanel. Hopefully y'all can see it. I don't know if it's focusing or not, but I love this. I love this. It does for me what Dawkins Aroma Company's Pink Cotton does, but this is strong. I love it, I love it, I love it. The scent projects. So I had to use both. Yes, I did. I had to use both. And then I also went in with my dual brand Casino Royale Cotton Candy Nights, which is a hybrid of Cotton Candy De Dua and their inspired version of Baccarat Rouge 540 Extreme. Mm, 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 mm. Mm. Cotton Candy was an overlapping theme and Baccarat just adds some elevation. Then I went in with Pink Suede by Bath & Body Works, which is my favorite fragrance mist. This has the fragrance notes of blush berries, velvet panties, and soft cotton. Y'all see the dent? So this has a soft cotton, just like pink cotton and clean pink cotton has. It has blush berries, just like the cotton candy and the citrus berry and the velvet panties just as a pretty softness to it, right? This combo ate. It ate. I mean, like it was Thanksgiving. That's how much it ate. All right. We're down to the last three combos. Y'all still here? Y'all still here? Okay. Okay. All right. Last but not least, This combo, I started off with my Butter Baby Amber and Oud Body Oil. This is a unisex fragrance. You get the Oud, you get the Amber, you get a little bit of spice. It's not too woody. It's not too masculine. It's unisex for sure, but it's so good. It smells perfumey. It smells unisex perfumey, okay? All right, started with that, right? Then after I applied the body oil, I had to go in with my Vanilla Oud Perfume Oil, which is from The Oil Lady, all right? Then of course, had to go in with Shagaf Oud, okay? Shagaf Oud. This has notes of mm, Saffron, it has rose, it has praline, it has oud, it has more oud. I think it even might have vanilla. It's so good. So we got the oud, we got the vanilla, okay? We got the oud and the amber, okay? And so then I went in with sweet whiskey because sweet whiskey and shagaf oud just go together, right? Sweet Whiskey has a fragrance notes of Golden Amber. Okay, Golden Amber. Vanilla Infused Whiskey. Got the vanilla. And Sweet Red Berries. Okay. 
all right and so since this has the sweet red berries i said i wanted to lighten up this heavy hitting heavy hitting beast so i added gingham love the fragrance mist this has the fragrance notes of sugared red berries which goes with the sweet red berries has blushing freesia and rose meringue this has the rose this has rose as well so y'all see what i did i used my products and i smell good in the process okay okay sometimes my layering combos are straightforward when it comes to the fragrance notes sometimes they are not but more than likely i'm gonna try and make them as straightforward as possible <sighs> down to the last two okay so for this combo this was probably my second favorite layering combo the base was another mixture a concoction of my goddess of the sea body oil in the scent strawberry champagne which is self-explanatory and my bath and body works lotion in the scent strawberry soda this has the fragrance notes of fresh strawberries bubbly seltzer and crushed ice what does crushed ice smell like okay mix them together because i need the moisture and this strawberry was strawberrying okay now i recently got the matching perfume oil to go with strawberry champagne okay this is the goddess of the sea strawberry champagne perfume oil so of course i had to use it right then the perfume i chose was k ali's eden sparkling lychee 39 which i really love it's full size worthy it's super pretty it's bright it is a little fizzy it's floral it's well blended to me it's sweet candy like it's playful and fun without being too juvenile and childish okay amazing 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 and so then i also used my bath and body works champagne toast fragrance mist which i am falling in love with more and more i only have this travel size this many but y'all i think i'm gonna get the full size because for a while i did not really get the hype i think champagne toast smells good i always did i always felt that way if i didn't think it smelled good i wouldn't have got it but i didn't love it y'all i'm starting to love it more and more i think i was kind of over it because it's been out for so long and they're always repackaging it and it's like can y'all give us another scent but i probably would be a little sad if they took away champagne toast and never brought it back so before they do that i think i either have to snag a full-size fragrance mist and i'm not saying it has to be now it might be a year from now i don't know or a perfume because it smells really good yeah mm -hmm, mm -hmm. so to run it back we have strawberry champagne strawberry soda champagne toast and eden sparkling lychee 39 okay if y'all have anything in your collection to go with eden sparkling lychee let me know what you like to use let me know let me know while y'all are here I probably already told y'all before in another layering combo, but if you happen to miss it, Kaylee's Eden Sparkling Light She also smells amazing with Valentino's Donna Born in Roma. Yeah. Didn't want anybody to miss that. And the last combo is my scent of the day. All right. So I'm going to tell y'all how I came up with this. So I knew I wanted to use Kismet for women by Latafa because this is a perfume I don't love and I don't reach for it. It's a white floral said to be a dupe for Killian's Good Girl Gone Bad. If Killian's Good Girl Gone Bad smells like this, I don't want it. It does not smell bad. It's growing on me because of the layering combos I wear with it, but I don't think it will ever be a perfume I wear by itself. But because I knew I wanted to use that, I chose my Butter Baby Lux aloe and shea lotion this has an apricot note at the top this has an apricot note 
and some white florals. This also has vanilla and some other scents. To me, this smells like an elevated hotel lotion. It smells amazing, right? Then I said, all right, let me use the perfume oil. This is a white floral scent, tuberose. I said, all right, let me use my Deja Vu white flower perfume oil from the oil lady. This is inspired by Kayali because yeah, why not? Then I said, let me add a perfume that I love to it because maybe then I might smell good, okay? Added Latafa Yara. This does not have like the same notes as that, but it does have um, some florals, it has some fruits, just like this has some fruits and some florals. They're not the same vibe at all, but it worked for me. And I ended up adding Wrapped in Vanilla because Deja Vu White Flower, I enjoy because it has this creaminess, which comes from a vanilla. Um, and so I wanted to play off of that. And again, help out my girl Kismet because she needs some help. So I chose Wrapped in Vanilla because it's a heavy hitting beast. That is my last Lauren combo. That is what I smell like today. I hope y'all enjoyed this video. Hopefully it wasn't too long for you. Hopefully it wasn't too quick for you. I have so much content I need to record for you guys and I am not forcing myself these days. It's like the inside of me has an eagerness because I know I have these fire ideas. And I have to tell y'all as a content creator, sometimes not sometimes, all the time I write down my ideas, my content, cause I don't wanna lose it. And it holds me accountable to doing it, right? And I tell you, sometimes, I'm not saying I'm slacking, but it's the fact that I'm a mom. And some sometimes content that I have had written down for months, for weeks, somebody else puts out and I'm like, oh my God. This is what I get for not putting something out. And I'm not saying it's not a competition factor at all. It's an originality factor because I never want to follow up behind a content creator and have them think I'm trying to, you know, copy them. Cause that's for me, I never want to be in somebody else's lane. I want to be in my own lane. And in this fragrance side of YouTube, a lot of us watch the same people and I don't want to bring y'all the same content. Um, I want to stay fresh. So um, I do have to work around some things. And if y'all ever see me put out some content that might be similar to somebody else, just know I ain't copying. I just want to put that out there. And again, it's not a thing of pride either. It's a thing of, um, I think we all should be true to ourselves and you know, I feel like if it was given to me by God, then it was meant for me to put it out. And then again, it's like, if I don't put out the content because I feel like it's not original anymore, then y'all won't see it. I thought I should give y'all a glimpse into my thought process as I am putting out content because I don't really talk about that. And maybe I should make a video if y'all are interested in like that side of content creation, like trying to figure out what to bring y'all because it is a process, especially when other content creators are doing similar things and we're not doing them in the same way. We all can make the same, same video and it will all be different. Right. But, um, yeah, I'm rambling now. I just wanted to say that I have content coming for y'all. I don't know when it's going to come out, but it's coming. Make sure you hit that subscribe button and hit my notification bell. So you're notified every time I drop a video. You never know. It might be five o'clock in the morning. It might be 12 a.m. You don't know. It could be eight o'clock in the evening. You never know with me. All right. Oh, <laughs> and I forgot. Some of y'all did not pass the vibe check when I posted that community tab poll. I said, are y'all tired of my hair wrap yet? Somebody said, yeah, they tired that I need to do my hair. Like I know I asked. But um, y'all supposed to be down with the hair wrap whenever, wherever. I'm just saying. Y'all like, if you ain't wanna know, don't ask. It was just a vibe check. And some of y'all ain't passed. A lot of y'all did pass the vibe check though. But just for y'all that did not pass the vibe check, 
I still got the hair wrap on, but guess what? I did wash my hair and guess what? My hair is still drying. So guess what? It's going to be in a hair wrap still. So yeah. All right. Bye. <laughs> I'm really gone. Bye. Y'all won't see this hair wrap for too much longer because I told y'all I'm working on myself in 2024. Improvement, okay? Getting back to doing my hair and putting on clothes, okay? And jewelry, okay? Rings and earrings and necklaces, even if they from Timu. Bye!